So 15, 20 years ago, we were saying if the Arctic changes drastically, and then 10 years ago or so, we were saying when it changes drastically, and five years ago, we were saying as it's changing drastically, and, and now we say it's changed, and it, and it continues to change faster than we ever expected. As the planet warms, Arctic sea ice is melting, but why should we care? That's where Eric Solomon comes in. He's the director of Arctic programs at OceanWise. There are three key ways that sea ice has a global impact that affects all of us. Air conditioning. The sea ice has a white surface which reflects the sun's energy back into the atmosphere, helping to keep the planet cool. The less sea ice we have, the more open ocean we have. And the more open ocean we have, the more the sun's energy is absorbed by the ocean in the form of heat. Jet stream. The jet stream is a fast-moving air current that circles the northern hemisphere, separating cold polar air from the warmer air in the south. As the Arctic warms, this temperature difference decreases. There is increasing evidence that this is weakening the jet stream. That means it lets warm air high into the north, and it lets cold air down way into the south. And what we end up with is things like snowstorms in the southern United States. How crazy is the weather? It actually snowed in Florida this morning. And record-breaking warm temperatures in the Canadian Arctic. Ocean currents, and one current in particular called the Atlantic Meridional Overturning Circulation. We call it AMOC, because who wants to say that other thing more than once? AMOC is a major Atlantic current whereby cold Arctic seawater sinks and flows south along the bottom, being replaced by warm tropical water flowing north along the surface, forming a cycle. That warm water is what actually keeps Europe warm for most of the year. Scientists think that this current could be disrupted by melting sea ice, which dumps a load of fresh water into the Arctic, reducing saltiness and water density, potentially slowing the current. That increase in fresh water could actually slow or even stop this AMOC system, and that could make Europe a very uncomfortable place. So things look pretty dismal. Is the future really all doom and gloom, or do we still have hope? I have a 16-year-old son, so I have hope for the future. I have to have hope for the future. And I think I have a lot of confidence in people's ability to, uh, to not just adapt, but to really make the kinds of changes that we need to make to see a real difference.